Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack video. Hope you're doing really well. So, we are back in the flight simulator today and we're going to be heading back from Amsterdam to Stansted in the A320neo by Innybuilds. Um, Easy 3-8 Yankee. Um, anything else we got to say? Oh, we're going to try doing VATSIM today um, just to see what the aircraft's like on VATSIM. Haven't done it on there just yet. Um, also, it reminds me we've got to do the flight plan. There we go. Um, so if we click fly now and connect MSFS, there we go. As you can see, there is some ATC over the UK. Um, nothing here as of yet in the Netherlands or Amsterdam Airports to be more specific. Um, we're departing 18 left today. If we have a look at the OFP, we we'll see our trip time is 46 minutes of flight time today. Cruising flight level 240, um, nothing else to really mention there at all. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's everything. We should be landing in runway 04, uh, that's what we expected to land on. So let's get into the flight deck and we'll see how this plane handles flying on VATSIM. See you in a bit. And here we are in the simulator. Um, we did have a few aircraft around us, but they seem to have disappeared now. Uh, there was a whiz air somewhere. can probably find it. Nope. There was a was there. No longer here. Oh look, KLM. Oh hang on a minute, there is a few aircraft around. Is that the was there that I was just talking about? Yeah, I found it. Um it's a KLM A330 over there, nice. Uh, right, so yeah, here we are at ah, Amsterdam where we left off. Um we need to get GSX to do its thing, obviously. But then saying that we might not bother because I haven't got the profile still, so is there really a point? Nah. So I think what we'll do is we'll just yeah it doesn't even know the A320 near. So what we'll do is we won't bother with GSX as much and we'll just do it for pushback and departure instead. Here we are in the flight deck. So if we go to the overhead panel, we'll get things loaded again. So battery one and battery two. The external power can come on. Crew supply on. Nav, nav, nav. Uh, there we are. Seatbelts on. Armed. Turn to the bottom in my ears a bit. There we are. We extinguish the white lights. Head down here. We'll go to auto and change that to 2000. And make sure we're on unicorn, which we are. Which now reminds me. For some reason, it's not letting me click anything. I think I don't have a push to talk. Oh no, I do have a push to talk. Microphone device. Headphones. Have they disabled? Talking on Batson, by any chance, was it just my thing messed up? Hell. On Unicom, I mean. 120025. Just gonna quickly try something. Hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just restart my Batson because I don't think it's. Unless I didn't open up as administrator. Because you know with the text box, not the text box, the, uh, the com box, it's all greyed out. No, it's still greyed out. It's interesting. I will deal with that later. But let's get the aircraft actually set up now. So we'll go back to Unicom. Oh, unless I haven't... very odd. Okay, don't worry about it too now, for much. Uh, we'll go to over to our EFB here and we'll get our flight from Simbrief. There we are, so Amsterdam to Stansted. Uh, Alton Airport is back to Amsterdam again. Uh, here's our Meta for departure. So winds are 1509 knots, current visibility is okay, 10 degrees and QNH is 991 and there's no significant changes expected. So pretty decent day. Head over here and we'll go to the MCU menu, Atsu, uh, still not have it in there. There we are. Oh wait, that's it. Oops. There we are. That's correct. Okay. Um. I think we'll probably leave it on there to be honest. In it page over here. And we'll get the flight sim, uh, sorry, the MCU set up. 
pretty quick, there we are. Um, so six is our cost index, easy. Three eight Yankee is our flight number. Just going to now file the flight plan. Oh, I forgot you have to do that now. I've got to file it through. Oh, uh, we've got to file it actually through um, the website, which is slightly odd. That's all changed. Okay, I'll file the flight plan in a second then. Won't bother with just yet. Um, IRS in it, align IRS, it will do its thing. Wind, request wind. And now we'll go back over to our AFB and we'll just get some weights loaded. So AFB, ground. Payload, sim brief, apply the load, instance. Perfect, so now everything is done here. What are you beeping at? Stop now. Block fuel is a 4.5. And that does it on its own. Flight plan, departure, 1.8 left. And SID, good question. Departure, Valco 5 Echo. That's the one. Insert. Now we'll do our perf page. So take off, sink, runway at one eight left, dry. If I sink that, there we go. Perfect. Um, config one, weights. I believe that's all correct. Force Togo calculates. Flex is 58. Can you send to MCZU yet? Oh, you can't. Send to FMGS. Oh, confirm. There you are. Now it does it itself. Flap 1 slash uh, 0 0.3 up. And that's everything done in the MCZU now. Perfect. So, next thing you need to do is the bat sim. Oh, unless that's the reason. So confused. Oh, it does work. That's ah. Uh, there we go. Now I figured it out. It's just because these were off. That's all. Probably should have looked at that first, to be honest. Um, nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file the flight plan on Batsim, and then we can get back with the pushback and departure when all this is done. See you in a sec. Okay, everyone. So the flight plan has been filed. Um, that's all good. The rest of the aircraft is ready, pretty much. So we can get the APU started and ready for push and start. So up to the panel, turn on the master switch, we'll put up on the beacon light now. And we'll go to GSX. We can we'll prepare pushback and departure. And we'll do Swiss port. Uh, we'll start the APU up. Like so. Oh look, we've got a tray table that works. Did I even try that last time? I don't think I did. Where's a quick spot to get it back? Really? We might have to fly from the first officer's side now because I can't get it back in. Oh, there it is. Nice, that's done then. Once it's available, we'll get rid of the GPU and we'll start taxiing to 18 left. Hopefully, it's in a long taxi. Hey, people, don't external power off. Come down here, we'll go to the ground. Get rid of the GPU and the chocks. Parking brake is set, isn't it? Yes. There we are. Uh, no, it's left. Release parking brakes, please. Parking brakes released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at wheel. Start at engine one. What is it?
no clue what's going on. That was interesting. Bit of a roller coaster that one. Okay, great, let's start engine two. Score traffic, Sharon, six zero tango crossing runway one eight centre at Whiskey Five. Parking brake set. You know what? I just realised I probably should have done a single engine taxi here, but I always forget. I always just go straight for both of them. But next time we come to Amsterdam or any kind of long airport, I'll just try a single engine. Got the time. Set max auto brake. Spotter's arms. Uh, one, two, three. And we'll set flap squat. Left is clear. So that's right TA. That's all correct. We'll do this in a bit before we take off. And transition altitude is 3,000 feet. So we'll change our pressure to standard then. Great, uh, remember turn off lights, taxi lights, APU off, APU bleed off, ignition switch back to norm, and we'll do a quick flight control check and then we'll get taxi in. So, full left, check, full right, check, full up, and full down, full rudder left, full rudder right. Cool, everything's working, so parking brakes released, and a bit of thrust. Uh, so do a pack soft departure as well. It's quite a long taxi here, so I won't film the whole thing. We'll just get out of our apron and then we'll come back again. We'll take the orange or the yellow taxi line instead of the, the blue. And then I think we'll go on to Bravo. So the tax is not the first right turn, the second right turn. There we are. And then what I'll do is I'll leave it here until we get to the runway, otherwise we're really bored. <laughs> and as you can see, we're taxiing behind a KLM, which is nice. I'm surprised that was a really good timing actually because there's not a lot of aircraft here at all. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys at runway 18 left. See you in a bit. Okay, so nearly at the runway now. We've been taxiing really slowly behind this A330. Seems to be taking the time. Um, we need to do a few takeoff checks now. So we'll do it to the and we'll go to one. There we are, that's normal. Then we'll do a takeoff test in a second. Keep 
set some lights now so we're going to land in lights on and take off lights on straight lights on and we'll hold here park and brake set now we just have to wait for this A330 to take off and then we'll be next I'm not sure it's actually waiting for though, to be honest. There we go. Parking brakes released and we'll line up. Skipper traffic easy 3 8 Yankee. Line up runway 1 8 left and wait. We'll set this to TRA. Already gone, can't even see him. Okay, so just hold it here for a second, just give us some space in. Yeah, with that same departure, so. Oh, that's probably enough. Okay. Skipper traffic, easy 3 8 Yankee taking off from way 1 8 left. Skipper traffic. Okay, let's go. So, go 50%. Stable. Man flex SRS from way auto thrust blue. Settle spider one. Just disarm the auto brake. And thrust climb.
See you later, Amsterdam. And flaps up. I'll turn off the mountain lights now. That caused a lot of conversation on my last video, so they're still going to keep to it. And standard pressure. There we go. Beautiful day. Oh god, always trigger. So it should take around 46 minutes to get to Sansted. Um, obviously I have ATC, so if they change our flight path a bit, then uh, it might take a bit longer. Or quicker, actually. Never know. the cabin crew. Oh, got a red block for two cast then. There they are. That could be the K the KLM. And 10,000 feet, still trying to come off, and I will see you closer to Stance to the airport. Enjoy the rest of the flight, start planning for the arrival soon, won't take too much longer um, to get there. And yeah, see you in a bit, bye bye. Everyone, so we just reached cruise altitude of flight level 240. So, going to start planning for the arrival into Stansted now. We're in the air for roughly 10 minutes. So, Stansted arrival ILS 04, um, and we are on the star. Give me a second. How do you find your OFP again? There we go. So, I'm on, nav I'm on Navigraph on my iPad. Um, star Rin 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 Rinis 1, one Alpha. That's the one. Insert that. And then we'll just check for these communities. Cool. Perf. Q and A. Just do this from here. Just refresh it. Uh, the Q and H is 9 at 9 at 8. Temperature. Temp, temp, temperature. It's 13 degrees and the wind 1.08. Perfect. Uh, we're doing a full flap landing. One, three, zero. Cool. Nice. So that's everything to do for planning for the arrival. Um, 
yeah, so far it's so good. We've got a headwind, so we might take a little bit longer. Top of the sense over here. I shall see how long we have until top of the sense. We are coming down in 42 nautical miles at 11.54. The time now is 11.48. So about six minutes till we descend. Not long at all. I love the short, quick flights. Okay, so I'll see you all on top of the sense in a bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to the fly deck. So we've already passed in 10,000 feet. Not too long to go. It's very bumpy though. I can't lie. I've got a straight crosswind here. It's causing quite a bit of commotion as you can see. Um, although I do feel like sometimes FS realistic is just a bit dramatic. You know, obviously I can, I can alter the settings a bit, but you know when you think it's just a bit dramatic? I mean, does it really look that bumpy? I suppose it does a little bit now to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, not too long out. Uh, we've been in the, the air for uh, 31 minutes, just come to 8,000 feet now. Um, obviously, we need to circle in a bit, as you can see here. So, yeah, 8,000 feet here at Abbott. Um, and then we need to get to 2,000 feet at CF04. So, we we'll start setting 2,000 feet into our MCP. If I can get there, there we are. Right, so 2,000 feet has been set. We're going to set flaps one. Just to help us out here. Quite bumpy, isn't it? Interesting. Happy with speed being two to oh yeah, a motor brake low for arrival because it's not exactly the shortest runway in the world. It's quite long, um, and also zero four the terminals at the other end of the runway, so it kind of just roll it out for a bit longer. Kind of helps a bit. There's Stansted there below us. You can see it. Hoping for a much smoother landing today. I mean, that landing was so tough. So I'm hoping for a much smoother landing. That would be the icing on the cake for this video. Anything below minus 200, I'm happy, but it's probably going to be another minus 300, isn't it? Let's be honest. I 
and today I've got two RAM units to come in tonight. So I'm going from 16 gigabytes of RAM up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which will be good. Okay, so now we're approaching 5,000 feet. On the ground spoilers, and I think I also want to actually see where the speeds are. Like, mm, no, 200 knots. We'll do around 200. QNH 9888 we'll Arm the approach as well It is interesting in my ears, if I move the camera, the sound of the headphone in my headphones change slightly. That's an interesting feature. In my head, I can't think of any other aircraft that does it, so it's interesting. Speed check flaps too. I'm just going to tighten up this circle a bit, it's going to take too long otherwise there's no need for it. See what's going on. Okay, captured the localizer. Perfect. Flaps three gear down. Let's go final landing speed. Just make sure we've got approach phase activated. There we are. Speed 
speed check flaps full. I gave myself a little shortcut. Right, so other spoilers. I'm gonna quickly check the cabin. The cabin is ready. Managed to get the um, eyeless to work on this one as well, so that's good. Yeah, see, I wanted like a really smooth landing, but with this kind of, you know, wind, I don't think it's going to be as smooth as I hoped. Let's find out, shall we? Autopilot disconnect, I have control. Whether that was for the best or not, I don't know. Let's carry on. See, now it's a flow and then it's going to slam it. Ten. <laughs> really? Going around. Pause the climb rate, gear up. Gonna go into speed autopilot one. And we'll level off at two thousand here. And we'll do the left turn as well. It was looking quite well to be honest and then we just started floating and floating some more so I don't know what it is with this aircraft but I just can't seem to um, get a proper 
Like in the Phoenix, for example, I'll do about. I'll probably idle the thrust about 30 feet from there, if you know what I mean. And then you. Yeah. Okay, so we're nearly ready for our next approach now. So we're going to go back down to 160 knots. We're going to be setting flaps to. About 2,000 feet, we'll rearm approach again. Let's hope I can actually get this on the ground this time. Okay, let's go final land speed again. Flaps three, gear down. And flaps full. Okay, so we do kind of need to land this landing because um, we have low fuel, unfortunately. <laughs> So yeah, it's quite important that we get this one on the ground. So the idea is we're going to let the autopilot just fly for a bit more and then I'll take manual control towards the end. I mean, this crosswind is fierce. One thousand. Yes, we will land ASAP, don't worry. Fire disconnect. Up and show. Three hundred. Two minimum. Continue. One hundred. Oh, this wind's going even worse. Fifty. Now. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. And reverse. Six. 
60 knots manual braking. Welcome to Stansted everyone, took 57 minutes, a bit longer than we expected but we made it. Still at the end, minus 231 was the landing rate. I don't know what it is with this aircraft, it's just not, I'm not good at landing this one. Everything else is fine, this one's just a bit more chaotic I think. Cool. Okay, we'll take a left here. Smell it from my iPad. Um, and we will choose stand thirty. No, let's do stand Parking brake sets. AP is available if you bleed on. Engine 1, engine 2, cut off. Why have I got that come up? I never use this. Continue. Beacon light off. And seatbelt signs off as well. And there we go, everybody. Welcome to London. Oh, God. Welcome to London Stansted. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Show about the, um, you know go around but it's all for the fun and experience of it so yes everyone thank you for watching any fight requests do let me know can't lie probably won't be getting this aircraft in a little while i don't know what it is so just meh um so yeah i'll probably be just keeping to the phoenix to uh for the airbus 320 fl flying i mean every now and then you know i might hop into it for a bit of a change but yeah i mean it's nice to fly i guess short flights and stuff but yeah anyway yeah i'll see you on the next one thanks all for watching um yeah any fight requests do let me know give it a like and any comments suggestions or anything you think i could do better do let me know and yeah see you soon Bye bye